like you want to lift it up and then start walking it. Cat, if you got two people, go caddy corner. Watch your fingers so nothing snaps underneath. Start walking it back. And you just go back and forth to each leg and just slowly start bringing it down. And just keep doing that until you get it far enough out where you can click it on the inside and the, and the holes. Just back and forth. Be patient with it. And once you start getting close enough out, you can lift it up on the inside, come underneath. Once you start getting it far enough out, you can get it. The key is you want to you want to snag it, pop it up into these holes up here, just like that. So push them into the holes. There, snap it, snap them in place, just like that. Now, once you've got the canopy, now you've got it all set to go. I'm just making sure every, all the Velcro is hooked underneath here, which it is, on all sides. Hard part's done. <clears throat> now all you have to do, they're all snapped into place. Now we just have to lift the tent up, and you do that by coming over here and just putting your foot on the, on the bottom and just coming up. I would start by coming up one level first. John's getting the other side. There's little holes. Next level. Now you can double check everything. That's just one notch. If you want to go at the end, you'll want to go to the bottom notch when you put the tent up. But now we're just going to get it and double check everything on the roof again while we can reach it. So looking underneath, Velcros are all secure. That's good. John has already checked here to make sure the pin's in the hole on the side. Okay, looks good. If you see this bent down, you see one of these, it seems like it's not locked in place. Come over here, you don't have this all the way up. Okay, you have, you have it basically like that. So you see, if I don't have the pin in the hole, you've got a bend here. So to get that problem solved, make sure you got it locked. Then you're pretty much good. Then you come over, honey, once you get, actually, now we lift it all the way up in the air. Once you do that, these pieces simply go to the bottom on the outside and you're good to go. Okay. Okay. Here's what the tent looks like set up. If you come in here, you'll see that uh, basically it's 10 by 10, equal on all sides. Here's things to key in on. When you lower and raise it, there is a peg here that's a key that locks in place at several points. You can see when I loosen this, there's a hole there. When you finally get the tent set up and up, you want to make sure this goes all the way up and snaps so that these top pieces will be firm. Velcro should be already on these holding the tent in place. Notice that when you take the tent out of the bag, the canopy actually stays on it. So you don't have to remove the top canopy. When you open up the tent, the canopy will already be in place. That's a key thing. When you go to take the tent down, the first thing you will do is remove, release these pegs on all four sides. Once you do that, you'll be able to lower it here with the buttons on the side by pushing it in. Just watch your fingers that you don't crip your fingers. Once you get the tent set up, take the tent hammer. It also has a tent peg puller on the end of it. You take this tent hammer and come over to the stakes. And we have these heavy duty stakes. This will get you started, although you still want sandbags. Put the stake in and just hammer it in these holes here all the way down. And go all the way down. When you're done, at the end of the day, you can take the tent puller, put it in there, pull your stake back out. Uh, this will get most windy conditions, but this is Oklahoma, so you're going to want some sandbags. So if you step over here, there are ropes in there. We don't have sandbags. you have to pick up some sand tubes. You take the rope, tie it to this, run the rope down to the sandbag on the side, and that will help secure the tent even more. Now we'll demo how to put a side panel up. Side panels, two do not have, uh, one has windows on it, and two do not. So the silver, one side silver, one side's white. You want the silver side on the inside. You also just want to make sure, you know, you'll notice one half has Velcro on the end, the other half does not, so the Velcro end goes up. So you simply Velcro each of the corners together, and it's all held by Velcro tabs. It's not too hard to do, really. Of course, we're going to... So, basically, that's good. You can just, you don't have to do it. Okay. We're showing. Okay. And then you're going to have the tabs on the side. To yeah. go to the and pole. then you Velcro these tabs. You may have to walk the pole in. You may have to, you don't want to stake all four sides down. Stake two sides down before you put this on because you may have to walk this in a little bit one way or the other to get your panel to Velcro right. So stake two sides down, 
Then put your panel up so you can adjust it mm -hmm. and get it on there so you won't have to pull the stake back out. Mm -hmm. Let me do the talking this time on this one. And I'm, I'm doing it. Not yet. Oh, okay. Um, so once you have the two sides put up together, then we're going to create a little dressing room. So what we're doing is, is there a dowel, just a little PVC pipe with a curtain on it. I've got ropes. So just go to the back and do a diagonal. You're going to make sure you have plenty of space and um, so you can angle it however it works best for you. If you want to do it in the middle and do it this way um, because you and have another side up, you have that option as well. You can just secure it to the pipe. And so whatever works best for you, there you go. First thing to do when you're taking down the tent is take the tent peg puller and use that to pull the pegs out. So that just makes it easy. All four sides. Now if it's real windy, you're going to want to leave two of these in. So I'm assuming it's going to be not super windy here. So take the tent pegs out. Now the next thing and the most important thing is come over and release the peg on all four corners. That'll keep the, 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 the arms from binding like that. So John's getting that side. Release them on it. Once you do that, the hardest part's done. You won't bend anything. Release all four corners. Now, go ahead and come to the bottom and remove the the corner, the uh, little little side panel pieces here. And now you're ready to walk it in. So John and I are going to get caddy. Do you need to release the Velcro? No, no, Velcro all stays oh. in place. Oh, okay. Now you just take each corner and you just start walking in. If you've got an extra person, it's a lot easier. And that's no, it. Oh, no, we can oh, walk it in a certain distance and it's still standing on your own. Then just come over and release the tabs on each four legs and lower it before you walk it all the way in. Just lower each leg down all the way to the bottom. So let's try that. So John, we'll do these mm -hmm. two sides. Okay. Ready? And pull them up. There you go. And same on the other side. Just a second, I'll get it. Is it going? No, it's just me. Okay. Okay. This side. And we could actually lower it. Lower we should it be able to lay it on its side just to help. And then just push the legs back in. And hopefully, there we go. That one, there you go. Oh, the tab. Tab right here. Oh, there it is. Give me that hammer and I'll tap it. It's, yeah. There you go. There you go. All right. I think this is the one that was jamming. 